Hello, I'm Entrilisim, and welcome back to Cold Waters, World War Three submarine simulator game. Uh, we are looking for some tanker tender things in the Barrett Sea. However, I can't find them. They said they'd sell from a mansk, so we're also really, really low on ammo. We are super low on all of our supplies. Oh, hello, sonar contact bearing one nine six. Hopefully, this is our target. All right, bring ourselves around to course 196, make our depth 50 feet. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Noise on the surface is pretty low, so we've got to be a bit cautious here. It's only 88 decibels. Sierra 1. Sierra 2. Use our ballast to go up the rest of the way. A little bit further. A little bit further. There we go. Up scope. Am I just blind or probably? Aha! Hello! Ooh, Deloitte. Ooh, that's going to go directly over the top of us. I don't like that. Not at this range. The SM messed up. Sign of anyone else? No. You're not our mission, Udaloy. Down the SMS. I'm worried they'll pick it up. Kara. Also not our mission. Another 8,000 ton ship, but this time with a anti-submarine helicopter. Mm. You are at missile firing range, though. Crap, okay. Uh, torpedo. Fire. Missile. Fire. Fire. Get us down, get us down, get us down, get us down. Periscope down. Turn away, turn away, turn away. Get a decoy. Get some torpedoes. ESM mass down. Whoopsie. Radar mass damage? Did we have the radar messed up? What? I didn't mean to. Okay, uh, doesn't matter. I didn't mean to have the radar messed up if I did. That's a mistake. Yeah, I don't care. The radar mast is dead. Oh, God. Oh, the radar mast I don't care about. Radar master offline requires repair at port. Fair enough. I wish there was an auto, you know. Oh, that's a lot of torpedoes coming out. An auto, if you dive, mass, please go down. Did the car survive those missiles? It looks like it. We are being locked. Oh! That's guns. Guns are firing. Guns are firing. 
I don't know if we're going to survive this. We've got flooding in the reactor core. Didn't see that torpedo. That's a hit. Bow sonar offline. Oh, that's not good. Let's go active. Bow sonar offline. Really not good. Oh, we repaired the MSMS. Great, great. That's so useful. They're firing their guns again, I think. That's a close torpedo. Decoy. We're going to have to go under it. Bow flooding. We've got bow flooding. I think we just have to get out of the target zone now. I don't think we killed anything with those shots, which was a shame. That would have really helped. Oh, that doesn't look good. Without the bow sonar, we're basically blind right now. So there's no way we can even go hunting. There's another torpedo in the water. When we get the chance, we'll need to fire a decoy. That's the only thing that might save us, but we don't have the distance on the enemy to do that. We've got a lot of flooding. Hell, we took a torpedo here, and we're still around. That's, you know, still a win. The thing is, one of those ships definitely has an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. And I don't like that. The helicopters are really, really... Oh, still that torpedo. Or is it that one? Right, go quiet, go quiet, go quiet. Nope, still locked. Still locked. Still locked. Yeah, I know we're cavitating. I don't really care. As long as you're keeping up with the flooding. Yeah, we had the radar messed up. That'll be what gave us away. That's completely my fault. I didn't think we had that up. Come on, explode. You know you want to. Not on me, just away from me. decoy off. Ooh, we did actually hit something. Something is on fire. Just didn't kill it. Okay, one down. Might as well switch to active. They know where we are. Good thing we've got 33 knots of speed. Don't know what that torpedo is, but it doesn't appear to be a very fast one. Yeah, look, it's a tiny, tiny torpedo. That's their guns. They got a good lock on us. That's my fault. They got a good enough lock to use their uh, guns because... Oh, dear. I was using active sonar. And they didn't have that lock before. Hard over, hard over, hard over. Come on, that torpedo should lose a lock based on that ridiculous amount of explosions. There we go. Might be the knuckle, though. 51% on the hull. We've got flooding. Oh, God. More flooding. Where's this? In the tubes. Go quiet. Go quiet. Go quiet. 
get that decoy out. We need to go slower to get the decoy out. Get slower. Uh, whoops. I think I just fired a missile. Either way, I don't really care. We're going to need ballast here. Because right now we're sinking. Are they shooting the decoy? They are shooting the decoy. Good. Keep doing that, mate. They won't be able to hear us reloading after all that. <laughs> That's it. We've got one torpedo. Oh, joy. This went well. Please follow that decoy. Let's get nearer the surface so that we can actually deal with the uh, flooding. Because, of course, you know, the lower you are, the more pressure behind the flooding. Oh, God. Can we actually not surface? Well, depth is going down. Come on. We need to go to two-thirds speed. That's the only way we're managing this. Ah, oh, it's not good. Come on, deal with that flooding. We need to get out of here. This went bad very quick. Okay. Do the flooding in the tubes. Do the flooding in the bow sonar. Do the flooding in the tubes. Deal with the flooding in the Balsona! Tubes again. Balsona! Tubes again. Balsona! Oh dear. Shooting the decoy still. For now. Right. Let's get out of here. Still vessels nearby. Oh, crap. I thought we'd managed to get away. Come on. Get us up to speed. God damn it. Really? Did you have to? We've got four noisemakers left. Oh. Knuckle. Okay. I don't want to dive any lower because then we'll have issues with flooding again. We've just got it under control at this depth. Knuckle. 
Please go the other way, torpedo. No! God damn it, don't drive me back towards your forces. We'll turn entirely around now. Come on, Knuckle. Knuckle didn't do anything. Knuckle again. Didn't work. Knuckle again. Let me go! Knuckle formed. God damn it, I wanna go! I wanna go the way you are! I wanna go my own way. Go my own way. Knuckle! Not enough. Knuckle again. Not enough. That was enough. Okay, you're going to my starboard, so we go... No, you're going to my port, so I go starboard. Good, good, good. Okay. Rig for ultra quiet. Ooh, the car has sunk! Hey, we must have hit it with something while well, I wasn't paying attention. Oh god, we're losing depth again. At some point we must have... Oh, crap, 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 crap. I only got the damn flooding under control recently. Fire our last torpedo behind us, trying to dissuade anyone chasing. Okay, flatten us out. That's why I get using time acceleration. Okay, abandon ship. That was literally it. There were only two craft there. There was no tender or tanker. That was just a patrol. Ah, oh, I think we got captured. Soviets capture sub crew. No, no, no. Oh. That was bad. And it was all due to the fact that I must have had my radar masked up when I didn't mean to. I must have, like, clipped the button or something when I pressed to get the other button. Ah, that's so frustrating. News Titans. I cut draws over Europe. We sunk 26. 12 of warships. 8 submarines. 6 merchants. Five missions, only 16 days before we died. It's really frustrating to lose to a misclick. More so that if I wasn't time accelerating, I would have been able to get a uh, noisemaker out before that torpedo hit us. And there's about an 80% chance that the noisemaker would have deterred the torpedo. Problem is, when you're on time acceleration, the torpedo hits the wall behind you. Yeah. No chance. I would like the game to add a uh, function where you can have disable time acceleration, or no, not disable, but uh, reduce time acceleration when enemy torpedo locks you. 
And then maybe, like, if it turns off and you hit it again, it overrides that. So, in that instance there, the torpedo hits the water. Bam! We're back to normal time. And I could have reacted. That would be something I'd like. Um, because unfortunately at the moment, I'm not going to sit here for, like, two hours doing this one mission where I just go in a straight line away from the enemy. Because that will be boring as hell, and I will probably leave and read a book. Which will probably result in more people dead. So, to die from a game mechanic, um, which is just... And to die from misclick is really frustrating, but it's still a really enjoyable game. I just think that while they've done a really good job at implementing a lot of the uh, realism features, maybe need to work on the UX UI stuff. Uh, the UX more than the UI, really. This is uh, UX issues, user experience. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. Let me know how much uh, you like watching it. Let me down, know down below in the comment section. Interested to hear your feedback, whether you want me to try playing again or something, or whether you think that you know, you've know you had enough, maybe you should play something different. I'm always down for feedback, so let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like, subscribe, but until next time, I've been Elysium. Stay shiny.